hello guys and welcome to our youtube channel scratch learners in this video we are going to discuss about the interrupts in 8085 microprocessor so when we discussed about the block diagram of 8085 microprocessor there we have seen there were many interrupts so in this video we are going to discuss about interrupts what are different types of interrupt signals and the classification of interrupts so the most basic question what is interrupt the interrupts are the signals generated by the external device to request the microprocessor to perform a task so these are the signals which are generated by some external device that means some devices other than the microprocessor to request the microprocessor to perform a specific task so in a gist we can say that interrupt is a process where an external device can get the attention of microprocessor and these interrupts can be initiated at any time without reference to the system clock so the interrupts can be generated at any time but the response to an interrupt is directed or controlled by the microprocessor so how does microprocessor get to know when an interrupt comes and how microprocessor work for that interrupt so in the beginning the external devices transfers some signals to the microprocessor to respond to some high priority external initiated signals and when microprocessor receives an interrupt signal that means when an interrupt signal is detected by the processor then the microprocessor suspends the execution of its current program and it start executing the program corresponding to the interrupt signal so when the microprocessor suspend the currently executing program then the control will jump to the isr that means interrupt service routine what is this this is a program or routine that is needed to be executed in order to handle or process an interrupt so this is a main program needed for the execution of interrupt so it executes the services of the corresponding interrupting source that means there is a specific isr for all the corresponding interrupts and for a specific interrupt its corresponding interrupt service routine is being executed so this was about when an interrupt is being handled and when the process of interrupt handling is done that means whatever instruction it need to be executed is completed then the microprocessor again start to resume its incomplete task so there are mainly five interrupt signals in 8085 the first one is trap then rst 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 and intr here in these five interrupts the highest priority is for trap okay and the lowest priority is for the intr signal now let's come to the classification of interrupts so the interrupts in 8085 microprocessor can be classified in three ways the first one is the software interrupt and the hardware interrupt the second way is the maskable and non-maskable interrupt and the third one is the vector interrupt and non-vector interrupt so now let's discuss about all these classification of interrupts and then we will discuss about all these interrupt signals one by one so here the first one is the software interrupt so what is it in software interrupts the programmer has to add the instruction to the program to execute the interrupt so here the programmer adds the instruction of the interrupt so they are the mnemonics to the microprocessor as we know the microprocessor works in assembly language program so mnemonics are used to program right so the software interrupts are being fed into a program by adding the instruction that means the mnemonics to the microprocessor and the software interrupt is caused either by a special instruction in the instruction set or by an exceptional condition in the processor itself so these are the main two ways by which a software interrupt can be generated now what are the software interrupts in 8085 there are eight software interrupts they are rst0 rst1 rst2 rst3 rst4 rst5 rst6 and rst7 now the next one is the hardware interrupt 
so the hardware interrupt are the interrupt signals received by the microprocessor through its pins so they are generated externally that means here an external device initiates the hardware interrupt of 8085 by placing an appropriate signal at the interrupt pin of the microprocessor as the interrupt signals are generated through its pins that's why it is called a hardware interrupt and how does the microprocessor comes to know whether a hardware interrupt is occurring or not the processor keeps on checking the interrupt pins at the execution of the current instruction and if the processor finds a valid interrupt then the processor accepts that interrupt we will discuss about these things later on in this video and there are five hardware interrupts in 8085 they are intr rst 7.5 RST 6.5, RST 5.5 and TRAP. So what is a vector interrupt? These interrupts have fixed vector address. Now here the main term is vector. What is a vector address? Vector address means the starting address of subroutine. So the vector address is a specific address from where a subroutine execution will start and these interrupt addresses are known to microprocessor this is the main point that these vector interrupts should be known to the microprocessor that means since in vector interrupt the processor automatically branches to the specific address in response to an interrupt so the one question that may come in your mind is that how the microprocessor know what is the starting address of the subroutine or what is the vector address where I should map. So these addresses that means the addresses of ISR we have discussed ISR that, right that means the interrupt service routine. So the address of the ISR that means the address to which the program control will be transferred is fixed by the manufacturer. So the microprocessor always know what is its vector address and after the execution of these interrupts the program control is transferred to that address. So when the microprocessor executes the instruction of that subroutine then after execution the program control that means the control of the microprocessor is transferred to that address. That means the address where the control of the microprocessor was present previously. So there are four vector interrupt in 8085. They are trap, RHT 5.5, RHT 6.5, and RHT 7.5. Now, what is a non-vectored interrupt? So as the name suggests, this is a vectored one, right? So here the microprocessor knows the address, but here it is non-vectored. That that means here the interrupt address is not known to the microprocessor. The interrupt address needs to be sent externally by the device to perform the interrupts this is quite a normal thing when microprocessor does not know its vectored address then that interrupt address needs to be sent externally by some device okay and intr is the only interrupt that is non-vectored so here the main term is masking what is the masking masking is the method of preventing the interrupt from disturbing the main program so the maskable interrupts are those interrupts which can be disabled by the macroprocessor by writing some instruction into the program. And when an interrupt is masked, then the processor will not accept the interrupt signal. There are three types of maskable interrupts, RST 7.5, RST 6.5 and RST 5.5. These are the maskable interrupts. So what are the non-maskable interrupts? That these are just opposite of maskable interrupts that means it is not possible to disable the interrupt by writing any instruction into the program here it was possible to disable the interrupt but here it is not possible to disable the interrupt that is the basic difference and the trap is the one and the only non-maskable interrupt in 8085 so this was all about the classification of interrupts in 8085 now let's discuss about the interrupt signals in 8085 microprocessor. So here we will discuss about trap, RHT 7.5, RHT 6.5, RHT 5.5 and INTR. So the first one is the trap. So trap is a non-maskable restart interrupt and has the highest priority among all 8085 interrupts. So this is non-maskable 
we have just seen now and restart interrupt but it means that the trap interrupts can only be masked by resetting the mac processor that means the restarting the interrupt that's why it is called restart interrupt and it has the highest priority among all 8085 interrupts now trap is edge and level triggered what is edge and level triggered see if this be a signal and the triggering is done through edge okay this is edge so this is edge triggering and in a signal when triggering is done in level that means this position then this is level triggering so trap is edge and level triggered both that means the trap must go high and remains high until it is acknowledged as trap is edge and level triggered the trap must go high here it will go high and it will remain high until it is being acknowledged and in case of sudden power failure it executes a isr and sends the data from main memory to backup memory and it transfers the control to 0024 hex that means this 0024 hex is the address where the program counter will go when sudden power failure occurs now the next one is the rst 7.5 so this rst 7.5 is a maskable interrupt and has the second highest priority among all the 8085 interrupts when this interrupt is executed the processor saves the content of the pc register that is the program counter register into the stack and branches to the 003c hex address so as this is a maskable interrupt it can be disabled easily and whenever such scenario is executed that means whenever this interrupt is executed the processor saves the content of the pc register that means whatever work was being executed by the microprocessor that is being saved into the stack and then the microprocessor branches to this address so as it is edge triggered that means the input will go high and there is no need to maintain the high state and this rst 7.5 interrupt can also be masked by resetting the microprocessor or by resetting the di instruction di instruction means disable interrupt instruction so by resetting the di rst 7.5 can be masked or disabled now we have the rst 6.5 and 5.5 so the rst 6.5 has the third priority while rst 5.5 has the fourth priority and both of these instructions are level triggered that means the input goes to high and stays high until it is recognized okay we have just seen level triggering in case of trap and these interrupts are also maskable interrupts right so these interrupts can be masked by using di that means disable interrupt and sim instruction that means set interrupt mask and it can also be masked by resetting the microprocessor now the last one is the intr so this is interrupt request that means this is a level triggered maskable interrupt having the lowest priority so this is easily maskable as it is having the lowest priority among all the 8085 interrupts so now how does microprocessor branches to an interrupt request so in the beginning the 8085 checks the status of the INTR signal during execution of each instruction while checking the status if INTR is high then 8085 complete its current instruction okay it will complete its current instruction and sends active low interrupt acknowledge signal what is this c INTA bar this is the interrupt acknowledge signal and this is used after an interrupt request has been accepted so whenever microprocessor accepts an interrupt request it sends the acknowledge signal using INTA bar line and here as it is present with a bar that means complement so this is an active low signal so when INTA bar is being approved it means that now microprocessor will perform the task of the interrupt so in that case the 8085 microprocessor saves the address of the next instruction on the stack and executes the received instruction
so this signal is used to read the opcode from the data bus and execute it as intr has the lowest priority it can be disabled by resetting the microprocessor or by di that means disable interrupt and also by sim instruction that is set interrupt mask so this was all about the interrupts in 8085 microprocessor still if you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment section see you in the next video thank you